it do, what it be, what it is, you too. It is five o'clock in the morning, and we got this bad boy. That's a big hill right there. But we got this bad boy taking us to the fishing hole. Be there shortly. What it do, what it be, what it is, you too. All right, well, we got our cart right there. You can't see the lights too much, but we bowling. Ooh. We got full power. We're in DC. All right. Woo. All right, let's get to the fishing hole. We bowled. Alright, well we're at the fishing hall I'm setting up. How much battery we got left? We got three cells of battery left. There's our big battery pack. We're gonna pull that out, charge it in the trailer while we're fishing. So let me pull that battery out, get it over there charging. Alright, well there's our battery. We got we got a big old marine battery up in here. And then we're actually we got this. This is our charging block for the battery there. But underneath it here, to make it quieter, we got a little baby inverter. Never tried it yet. Never tried this yet. So we'll see if she's going to say charging when we plug her in. All right, she's plugged up and she's charging. The light changed from green to red. So now we're going to be charging this while we're parked. All right. What it do, what it be, what it is, YouTube. All right, it's 6 a.m. on Sunday morning. We got ourselves a bunch of white perch. We're gonna put some heads out, some midsections out, some tails out. That's what we can catch. I'll be back with you in one of the moment when we get these on the line. Got our first piece here, white perch. Let's get it out there, see what we can catch. Throw this one far to the left. Uh, water's down, so I can walk pretty much down here right now. Pretty soon, the water will come back up. White perch head. Let's get this one out there. What it do, what it be, what it is. We got all three lines out. Hopefully we can get a bite rather rather shortly. Sun's probably gonna come out soon. Hopefully we can get on some numbers today. I'll be back. An unfortunate term of events. This is my last of my Pontus 5000s from Cast King. I've had six of them. I've had three of them replaced. And two of them are broken out of those six right now, and this one is now broken. So all six of the Pontus uh, 5000s I've had don't work. They keep breaking. It's normally the drag. This one kind of froze up inside. The switch underneath, it still flips, but it don't matter. It goes in either direction. So now when I cast, it just, and it's also not going up and down. So all my line, when I reeled it in, reeled to the top instead of the bottom. Trash. Trash. All right, so now we're down to two rods. I casted one of them out. When I went to reel it in, it was 100% frozen up. Uh, I couldn't get it to reel. Uh, dunked it in the water a little bit. It on froze. I went to reel it in. Next time I went to cast it out, the knob just opened and closed. You know, so it'll spin freely. It broke. Now it just spins freely 100%. I went to cast it out and all the line got tangled in between the eye, the, the line guides. So we just down to two rods. We've been fishing for an hour and a half. And we got no bites at all. But I'm figuring it's going to take probably till this afternoon before I start getting any bites. So probably just be fishing this morning for nothing. But, you know, I'm out here. It's nice. I got my little, uh, 
I got my little shelter in here with a heater and stuff. I'm watching Stan's fishing. They out there live streaming. So, hopefully we can get on a fish soon. I'll be back with you. We got a fish on the left one. Skunk is out the boat. We got a little guy. This is our little guy. Skunk is out the boat. I think I might keep him. He looks like a nice dinner sized meal. I haven't had catfish in a couple of, uh, couple months, so I think there goes my three pound dinner. Woo, got dinner. All right, this bait got a lot smaller. All right, let me get a new piece of bait on this line. What it do, what it be, what it is. We got our first fish in two hours and uh, it's a little three pound uh, baby blue. But this guy is actually gonna go home and go in the fryer. Haven't had any uh, catfish in a while. It's a nice smaller one. It'll make for a good dinner. Try to keep them toxicities down, you know. We are fishing the Potomac River. But let's get on another one. I'll be back with you shortly. What it do, what it be, what it is, guys. I've just been taking me an hour and a half long nap. I don't know if y'all can see my uh, glasses. It is windy as anything outside. Just switched my baits out. We've had like four or five bites. Well, we only caught that one fish. It's been a few hours. About an hour or so of that, I've been just sleeping in this chair. I literally was just like. <laughs> yeah, it's been, it's been pretty windy. It looked like it's starting to, oh no, it's lying. Oh, there goes the wind again. Well, what to do, what to be, what it is, you too. All right, we've been here for several hours. I fell asleep for an hour, fell asleep for a half hour. Uh, we only got that one fish. We had about six bites, but literally they'd bite it and then they'd gone. They just tap and leave. So uh, we're going to pull these rods in, go to another location, and uh, hopefully we can get on some fish there. I'll see you there. What to do, what to be, what it is, YouTube. All right, we're at the next spot, my mud hole. Normally we can get 10 or more fish here, so let's get these rods casted out. See what we can catch in this spot. Just got my mud boots on. I had two pair of boots in my trailer. I had some thermal, thermal boots over there. But now I got my water boots on. Because we're at the mud hole, and I need to walk out. The mud hole. If I get out to them rocks, I can cast pretty good from these rocks. Whew. All right, we're out here. Going back out for the second rod. Whew. Oh. oh man, nasty. What I do to catch fish. All right, let's get back. All right, we just set our two rods up. I broke a rod earlier today. Well, not a rod, I broke a reel earlier today. It was frozen after the first cast. Well, I casted it, I reeled it in, I casted it again when I changed the bait. And when I went to reel it in the second time, it was frozen. I don't know if it's because uh, when I reeled it in, water got inside of it, and after it sat there, after I casted it out again, it just froze, but it broke one of the switches on it, so now it won't lock, so the spool free spins, which is no good. So we're bringing the other squall out this junks. 
my pen. We're getting hits. We're getting hits. This just got put out here. All right, spot change was real. Spot change was real. Feels like a good 15 or so. It's nice. I knew, I knew the spot change was gonna be real. I went to a couple spots before we got to this one because the water was really shallow down there. So a lot of the places I was trying to fish, my big net wasn't even making it down the wall. So I backtracked and came back here. Well worth it. I feel fishy. Let's get him. We got to go get this fish, which means we got to go down this wall. I got to put this net on me. We got to go get them. Let's go get our fish. Let's go get our fish. Come on, guys. Oh, why are we looking at the ground, guys? My bad. Woo. I think we might just leave this net out here when we cast it again. A good 10 15 pounder not bad at all eh maybe nine maybe ten pounds eh probably bigger <laughs> all right first fish here in this spot we got him we got him guys it's a pretty good one We got a nice one here, guys. Let me get the the scale and everything. Whew. We got him right there in the corner of the mouth. Let's see if we can get this uh get this up in there. All right, bro. You gotta have to open up a little bit, man. All right, got most of it out. Curl it one more time, and one more. You just curl it in a circle when you pull it out. These circle hooks come out easy. Less than five minutes in this spot. Zero it out. Oh, this fish is heavier than I thought. I thought this fish was going to be 18. Uh, this says 21.95, so we're just going to give it 20 pounds because this net is uh, one and three quarter pounds, and it's a little dirty, so we'll just give it 20 pounds. 20 pounds even. Can't beat it. Oh, yeah. Fish on. Whoo. <sighs> Now we gotta go get this big boy released. I'll be back with you. I'm gonna walk you in, bro. I'm gonna walk you in, man. You ain't gotta be flipping out, man. Oh, splish splash, man. Now you just made it so muddy, you don't even know which way to go, bro. That one's going off. 
My other rod's going off. Hey, bro, I'm gonna need you to fix yourself real quick. Go that way. I gotta go get my other fish. This fish is just sitting here doing circles in the mud. Oh my God, I gotta get it. It's bending over. Oh, 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 oh. Big boys over there just swirling. Whew. Oh, there it goes, oh. been here for five minutes and it feels like we've got another 20 or more i think this one might be bigger Whew. that's what i'm talking about guys this guy's got some head shakes he is pulling Whew. let's get him close to the bank and then we'll go get him oh man he is he is definitely a big boy does not want to come up. He is just sticking. Oh, he just had a nice head pull on. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on, let's do it. Whew. This fish has got some pull to him. I'm pretty much dragging him up here. Get this net and go down there. Just put these rods out and already two fish. Wow. Cannot complain about that. Whew. Now we gotta get them. I just saw splashy splash. This guy shrank. I mean, he's he's about as big as the last one. He might be a little bit bigger than the last one. All right, I want to get him a little bit closer over here because it's easier to walk and land the fish right here. All right. All right, let's get our fish back. I think this one might be a little bit bigger than our last one. Woo. Oh, muddy, 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 muddy. Ah. Woo. There you go, fishy. Man, whoo, yeah, whoa, man, whoo, so muddy. Look at my hill, it's turning into a slip and slide out here. Next one, right in the corner of the mouth. You know how we do. All right, now we got to get this boy weighed. <coughs> what you thinking? Whoa. Oh, I got to figure out what I do with the scale now. Now we got no rods in the water because I only got two, but hey, we, we keep pulling them in like this. It don't matter. Back to back. 0, 0.0. 0. <whistles> 
27 and 27.55. So we'll give him 20, we'll give him 25 pounds. Eh, 25 and a half pounds. All right. Whew. There he is. Let's get this one released. And then we're gonna go uh, get our rods back out of the water. All right, bro, let's get you out. You guys gotta stop dive bombing the ground. First thing they do is hit the ground when I put them in. If I just wait it out, he'll swim away. There he goes. He's just digging right to the bottom. Wow, he's literally staying on the bottom. There's a wake of freaking dust coming out of him. All right, let's get, let's get these uh, rods set back up and get them back out. All right, that's two fish in less than five minutes. We got the lines back out. Hopefully we'll get in another one ASAP. Hopefully even bigger. Be back with you shortly. Oh, there's a fish biting on number one a second ago. He just dragged it underneath that tree. Come on. Don't play with my emotions like that. We've had several taps on the right rod and several taps on the left rod now. Caught two fish right off the rip. Now they want to act like they don't want to eat. Oh, this is a slide to take that. All right, there we go. Yeah, he dragged me under that branch over there, but we'll give that about 15, 20 minutes, and then we'll check that bait. I don't think he took it off. I'll be back with you shortly. It's tapping again. A little bit of weight. Oh, I think there's a little itty bitty fish on there, guys. About five pounds, maybe. A couple pounds. Probably a pounder or a two pounder. Oh yeah, just a couple pounder. We caught one of you earlier, bro. Bait. all right there goes number four for the day this one's probably about uh four pounds we're gonna just uh release him again but i'm gonna get my rod set up i think that's still the first piece of bait from the first fish so i want to put a fresh piece of bait on there stab this guy in the dirt real quick Ugh. Alright, let's get a freshie. Alright, let's get this piece of bait on her and get this rod out. I'll be back with you when we get the next uh, fish on. Hey, there's a hook and stuff right there. I'm about to grab that hook and that swivel that I think are both mine. I think that, remember when I grabbed the weights last time I was here 
from right there well there goes the rest of my rig there goes my leader <clears throat> all right little guy why do you guys always smack your face into the mud there you go bro i'll see you later Oh, oh, we got a fish over here biting. We got a fish biting on number two. Oh, just one flat. moved it a little bit and then he'll come back and grab it hopefully all right we got this nasty soup don't come back to the shallows bro i don't want to walk out any further man don't come to me man turn around and exit obviously you want to go away from me not towards me bro yeah, there you go. Keep going, keep going. You got this. All right. And there he goes. He's just swimming down the bank. See you later, bro. Oh, man. I did everything I could. Put out the amount of bait that could get out. It's hard to, you know. Number five. I had a, I had a hard time in the kayak. I had to go through ice just to get out in the water, but, uh. <laughs> But we'll be uh, back out there next weekend. It's Sunday morning. I hear Stan the man over there live. Uh, I will be uh Stan. You guys are live on my screen and I'm catching a fish. So guess what? Y'all got a fish. Because uh, got the uh, warmer water springs in there. Yeah, and I made a long cast. All the way from here to the James. I want to do a YouTube collab this summer and get as many people to show. Come back, pitch my area. I'm gonna have to get a whole fishing line. He's a little guy. Yeah, that's what usually happens when, uh, if anybody. Uh, come on, little muddy guy. That was on the tail end right there. got number five another five pounder or so not too bad let's get him back out there get him released I'll come back for my rod yeah. Yeah, oh my goodness oh. Get this guy releasing this crystal clear. They keep on trying to smash down into the ground like they think they're going into deeper water quicker than they are. See right on the bottom and skirts out. They try to hit the bottom and then leave. What it do would it be what it is YouTube. All right, well, I forgot to do an outro at the water. We ended up doing a live stream after we caught those first five fish and the sun kind of dissipated behind the clouds and as soon as the sun disappeared the bite just stopped the nibbles everything just stopped but hopefully y'all liked the video y'all make sure to get it right and get it tight i'll see y'all on the next one holla